Um, as you can tell, it's been a bit of a day for me. Uh, in related news, my neighbor is calling me Siamese burn twin or burn dodo. Siamese burnt arms, that's what it is. Uh, and that's because I burnt my arm. Same area. <laughs> At work. Arm. So, like, six years ago, I burnt this, my right arm. You can kind of see the score here still. I burnt that baking cookies. <laughs> <laughs> like that. What comes around goes around. <laughs> and today at work, I was pulling cookies out of the oven. And there's so many things around. I was trying to not burn anyone. And I managed to bump the pan right to my arm here. Uh, um, cookies are not good together. On the bright side, I now have matching scars on my arm. My arms are completely matching. <laughs> so we're just wrapping it up. Got better dressing for that. Only got one because the other part is cheap. As long as I don't wake up with that missing, we should be fine. Because yeah. this is what's going to be holding. Unless I had safety pins at work, then that would be better. But that's basically what's going to be holding my arm in place at work to protect it. The next at least few days so also and i'll show this probably in the next couple days but we got a new couch and we have not even set it up it's on its side literally and our neighbors are also calling us dodos and we start calling them dodos too we're the dodo birds so i'll catch you later hello what's up everyone um Sorry about the no post on Friday. We've been going through a lot. Um, I've had some stuff come up with work, which it's nothing like major, but I just have been drained. Um, on top of that, we were not able to get the house we were originally trying to get because no one informed us how much it was actually going to be a month, and it ended up being more than we anticipated. So we're house hunting again. I'm just gonna we did it. spend the weekend in Fort Worth, and as you see, we have the potato with us, and we got into back into Waco just in time to house hunt we're waiting on our realtor but we had to come straight to the house we couldn't go drop Russet off with our neighbors or unload like the car we to. yeah we were wanting to unload the car drop Russet off with our neighbors because he also was not eating this weekend and we know they can get him to eat yeah. so but we've got two houses we're looking at today oh what she lives next door that's fine okay um, but I say come along with us, but yeah, sorry about not posting on Friday. I know I posted on Instagram saying we'd have it up yesterday on Saturday, but, um, we just had a lot. We were in Fort Worth with my family and I just, I needed a break from everything Max did too. So we just kind of enjoyed spending time with my whole family. My brother drove down from where he lives as well. And he spent last night at my parents house so we got to spend all day yesterday and half of today with him so we've been recuperating but we'll definitely be taking you along inside these houses just to get a look um so far the front's not bad yeah the houses on the sides of us aren't looking as bad nearly as bad as, as the nearly. last house like the last house was a new build and it, both the houses on both sides were dilapidated very dilapidated houses that should have just been torn down. These ones are, I mean, not as nice, but they're still nicer than what the dilapidated ones look like. But this one looks pretty nice. So we're just waiting on the So we actually just got done with the second house. You just saw the first house. That one's a ready to move in thing. The second house, we did not show. We did not show because it's occupied currently. And when we first got there, we were all thrown off. So we get in and we hear barking. And even our realtor's like, "Well, I thought it was an occupied." She's like, "Yeah." And we were told it was an occupied. 
Yeah, we were told this. And I thought like, wait, are there squatters in here? We heard dogs just barking behind the door. We have Rosie with us. We're like, do we even want to go in? So she, we all step out, and then apparently the front door was unlocked. So we step out. She calls, like, whatever company to figure it out. So she calls whoever about it, and they're like, oh no, it's still occupied. They live there. Their dogs are, are locked up in crates. It's fine. Because we didn't want to just have the dogs come running at us and us have a rest um, so we're about to go to a third house. The second house would be a fixer-upper, but it has a lot of potential, and I think it's not out of the question for either of us. And it's in a very affordable range for us. And we could easily ask for less. Wait, yeah. The first one, it was a complete... I think we both kind of... We, <laughs> it was nice and moving ready, but it just had... Uh, to me, it just... What really got it was to me, smaller. What really got to me was that the master bath was smaller than the guest bath. The master bath was like the size of maybe a half a bathroom. And we also it didn't had have a, closets. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say the the shower in the master bath was like it would I would barely fit in it. I would barely be able to move around in it. Let alone max. Yeah. So it was not gonna work for us. Uh, the closets were like, oh, was like it looked like a thing. I'm like, oh, we forgot to build in closets, so they just like put rods. So it's like they just like made like a cubby, like a standing cubby hole, and just put rods in. And so that's where like, okay, this might not be a good option. There was also a chicken coop in the back that could be converted into a shed. But the backyard of the second house, we really liked it. It would definitely be. It's got a nice patio area. Yeah, a lot of space. A lot of space. Yeah, it had a shed, right lane, so, right. and it was completely fenced in, so someone back here would have running around space. And there was a doggy door in the office door to the backyard. Which was nice. Which would be nice because then we could just keep it on lunch for us and he can go in and out whenever he so pleases. Yeah. So, it would be nice. Now we're going to our third house, which I couldn't, know did she say it was occupied? I think she said I it was. I thought she said it was unoccupied. It might be unoccupied. If it's occupied, we won't show it. If it's unoccupied, we will but someone's enjoying house hunting with us. By the way, I update on my arm. She's picking on it. I keep playing with it. Not like picking on it, but I just like keep rubbing my hand across it and now it's starting to hurt. Um, for a while there, I was having absolutely no pain and I woke up yesterday morning with my arm itching and I was like, I had just barely started waking up. And so I was, you know, still in bed, barely opening my eyes. I just feel it like my arm was itching. So I had to reach over and start scratching it next. Completely forgot about it until I started peeling off, like picking off some of it when I scratched my. Oh, right, I, I burned my arm at work, but it's not too bad. It uh, it's definitely gonna scar, but I mean I've had worse, so. Turn right on Primrose Drive. Yeah, we're heading there. Um, really just want to get out of the apartment. drive is I'm very confused now on where we are oh well catch you later front door so far this is our arrangement these are nightstands for our bedroom but right now we're gonna use the table side here so kind of working on yes but looks a lot better okay I'm gonna need sorry Days. And you think? <sighs> An actual living room. I know, right? Huh? What's up, guys? Uh, so, last you saw Max came in the apartment. We, yeah, we're really starting to clean and make it feel more like home because we're going to be out in the next few months, but we're trying to make it feel more like home in the meantime. Uh, house update, the third house we looked at was a really good contender, but there were some things that we weren't necessarily huge fans of, so. No dishwasher. Not even a place to put a dishwasher in. So we're gonna keep looking. Our realtor's gonna try to get us to see at least one or two houses tomorrow. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that post notification bell. Comment down below. Follow us on Instagram, which will be linked down below. And see you in the next video. Bye, guys.